Glass and Dark Sky Festival is a celebration of a couple of things. Most important is our dark night sky. It's a tremendous resource and we're finding that that resource is diminishing. There's fewer and fewer places that you can go to, walk outside and see the Milky Way, um, to see thousands of stars above you. And so that's really what we're hoping to do is raise awareness that it's a resource that's worth protecting. The events that we have lined up at the Dark Sky Festival last from the morning all the way through the night. You can talk with some NASA research scientists at SulfurWorks, and you can also find out uh, more about what kind of research is happening here in the park with regards to astrobiology. We have evening programs that help identify some of the objects in the night sky. And also um, special programs put on by scientists explaining some of those mysteries. And then the real star of the show is the dark night sky where we have telescopes set up at the Bumpus Hill parking area and a couple other locations where if you've never looked through a telescope before in a dark place, um, that's certainly one of the highlights. Some of the things folks can do at home to help us protect these wonderful dark night skies is they can look around their own house and decide when and where they need lighting. Installing motion detectors, installing timers is a great way to decide when those lights need to be on. Seeing if there's places around your home if you have to have a light on, you can put a shield on it so that it points the light down instead of up into the night sky. And finally, you can spread the word. Tell your friends about your trip to the National Park where you saw the Milky Way and uh, that you learned that, hey, you know, light pollution is taking away our stars. So if you wanted to help preserve these dark places, those are all great ways to help us do that.